What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This right here is going to be a video on volume average. So average volume of a stock. I'm going to put it on a, what was my example I had earlier? Put it on PayPal. Um, let me clear the chart because, I mean, this is a tutorial video. So I want to show you all how to obviously put it on your chart. So this is a normal chart. I know I have uh, my drawings up here, but you're going to have your volume down here, right? It might look something like this. Okay, so I'm, I'll just blow it up right here and go to uh, edit studies, right? We're going to search volume, average, double click it, okay? It's going to put it below your average, which is stupid. Don't do that. Drag it up to the volume tab. We'll go to settings real quick because I don't like how this isn't very red. Change it to a red. Your volume average i kind of leave it on a neutral color it is a thin line so if you want to thicken up the line a little bit go ahead and do that hit apply okay so average volume i kind of is self-explanatory i don't know how much i need to explain this but the yellow line is the average volume in the interval time frame that we have uh so basically when it breaks that line or when it when a uh Volume stick breaks that line, cut, cut, cut. So when a volume stick breaks that line, it's going to be above average, okay? So here's an example. We have a big gap on PayPal, lots of buy volume. I think it jumped like 15% or some shit that day. So way above uh, average volume. A lot of people were buying in. So we have a 35, uh, you can see right here, 35 million volume with the average of 11 million. So that's... Uh, it's kind of a um, a tool. People, I feel like volume is underplayed a lot. People don't look at it. They're so worried about, you know, obviously how much it's up or down. They obviously, you know, is it an uptrend or a downtrend? And that's all fine. There's, there, we might be worried about other studies like RSI and all that shit. But it's very, very important to see if you have a uh, good volume behind a stock. Um, this is kind of something you should learn day one. If you're having a, a, a bad day or if a stock's having a good day and there's not a lot of volume pushing it, it's kind of a dead day and it doesn't really need to be taken too much into account when it comes to a, your analysis. All right. So, um, like I said, this this is very strong volume, moved on a lot of strong volume and showed uptrend shortly after. OK, uh, let's let's use one more example. I don't want to make the video too short. So the covid stuff with uh, spy. Look at the above average uh, red candles. Now, there's a few green, but uh, I mean, people are just trying to buy dips. But look at the above average red candles right here. Right. And then look at the below average. You know, we had an uptrend, but a lot of below average right here. Let's look at one more. I think, uh, yeah, PayPal, Apple. Uh, cut, cut, cut. So below average volume right here. Not many big candles on Apple. We did have an uptrend. Okay. Looking for that. Cut, 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 cut. So look at Apple right here. Big, uh, big buy volume uh, back here in uh, August. So average would be 139 million. This was 374 million volume on this day. So then we have a lot of uh, up and downs right here below average volume. Okay. So that's all it's used for. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Hope, uh, you know, I helped out in any type of way. Uh, if you uh, have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'll get back to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I'm going to try to make sure I upload weekly. If you have any videos that you want me to upload or any questions, I'll definitely address them. I'll also, follow me on Instagram at storm underscore investments. Uh, that's all I got for you all. I appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one.